Hi everyone. So a lot of gate aspirant are having this common doubt that uh, sir, what should be the ideal timetable of a gate aspirant? Look, there is nothing like ideal timetable. Like you will see a lot of mentors saying that you you need to have a complete roadmap of your gate preparation that uh, on this day I am going to watch this lecture and on this day I am going to write test series. This much gap should be there. But the things don't work like that when you are doing the preparation. Believe me, things don't work like that. Like it's not that i am not saying that you should not have a future scope you should have a future scope but the future scope should be like this that in within two months i need to complete my network analysis and control system or whatever the subject you want to complete it's not that on this day i am going to complete network analysis on this day i am going to complete control system on this day i am going to write test series this or that things don't work like that i have given a gate road my video there i have given month wise plan it's not that i am going to give day wise plan it will sound good you will feel good areva device plan will get but believe me you are not going to complete day by day right let's just say i am saying on sunday i am going to complete my control system i am going to watch that particular three lecture what if on sunday you you get some work what if on sunday your mom says go go to the market and get some vegetables what if this happens with this you are not going to follow up right so what should be the ideal way the ideal way is that the the time you wake up the first thing that should come to your mind is what i am going to do on this particular day that that's it you need to make the timetable of the particular day only let's just say i wake up at 8 a, 8 am the first thing i am going to write on the paper is today i am going to complete three lectures of network analysis two lectures of control system i am going to practice this much of question from this resource that's it and now at the end of the day now at the end of the day my target would be to complete that particular portion only that's it i will wake up the next day again i will make the same time table and till the end of the day i will complete that time table i am not going to sleep before that if i haven't completed my day by day task i am not going to sleep so once i complete the task then only i am going to sleep that's it so make your day wise plan it's not that you are going to make complete plan it will sound good to you but na and also you should have a basic idea that when you are going to complete it let's just assume i am starting my preparation in me i am starting my preparation in may so i should have a idea that okay from may to june onwards i am going to complete this much subject from july to august i am going to complete this much subject september to december i am going to complete these kind of subjects so you should have a clear idea but you can cannot make the time table because you you are not going to follow that and eventually you are going to mess up your examination i have seen this with a lot of aspirant last year now this thing came in action last year only to make day to day road map but that doesn't work this seems good it is good for seeking money but it will not work it doesn't really work right so uh, from my suggestion would be to make day wise plan not the complete plan and with that you will be able to proceed and one more thing is that now student makes time table for day as well let's just say they will make the time table that i will wake up from 10 to 12 am i am going to this thing i am going from 10 to 12 pm i am going to do this thing from 1 to 3 i am going to do this thing from 4 to 5 i am going to do this thing it will not work like that certainly it will not work like that your target should be just to complete that particular work that you have written on the paper when you woke up now you are going to complete from 8 to 10 12 to 3 4 to 5 it's up to you if you are having some work do that work otherwise study that's it if you are feeling tired take a break close your eyes get refresh and start studying again take break again start studying again now when should i take the break this is also a one good question now different people have different different capability so when i was a aspirant when i was a student i used to study around 2 to 3 hours without any break but that was suitable for, for me there are some people who cannot study for uh, one hour as well like they need some break so i would say at least you should have the capability of studying 60 to 70 minute in one go because if you are not studying 60 to 70 minutes in one go there is no meaning of that there is no meaning that you are going to attempt the examination because 60 minutes will take you at least to get into the concept right and if you are just going into the concept and just leaving it there that i will take the break then you will forget everything and you will not be able to recall whatever that you have studied in those 60 minutes so at least 60 minutes should be enough not 20 minutes 30 minutes that i will study for 30 minutes take 5 minute break study for 30 minutes take 5 minute break things don't work like that it will be Uh, like people give, will give it some scientific name or anything like that so it will sound good but uh, that's not how you get a rank 
for getting the rank you need to study at least 60 minutes or try extended it 60 to 90 minutes at least 200 minutes so if you study like this then believe me you are going to perform much better than your competitors so yeah that's it this is what i wanted to tell so briefly i will tell you what what did i tell so firstly i told you that there is no meaning of making the complete day to day roadmap for the complete year just make your particular day timetable only and in that particular timetable you just need to write what are what are the things that you're going to cover and it's not that you will go, you are going to write down the timing from this time to this time i'm going to cover no you just get some time cover the things and if you are having some other work do that work get back to study and start studying again getting some work do that work start studying take breaks again study it's not that you are defining a particular time that at this time only i will study at this time i am going to do this work no that will hamper your preparation so it should not happen right so yeah that's it 